We expect to have the first operating robo-taxis next year with no one in them next year. It's always difficult to, like, when, when things are on an exponential, at, at an exponential rate of improvement, it's, it's, it's very difficult to kind of wrap one's mind around it because we're used to extrapolating on a linear basis. But when you've got massive amounts of, of like, as the hardware, uh, massive amounts of hardware on the road, the, 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 the cumulative data is increasing exponentially. The software is getting better at an exponential rate. Uh, I feel very confident in predicting uh, autonomous robot taxis for Tesla next year. Not in, all not in all jurisdictions, because we won't have regulatory approval everywhere, but I, I, I'm confident we'll have at least regulatory approval somewhere literally next year. Um, so any customer will be able to add or remove their car to the Tesla network. So we expect this to operate um, it's, some, it's sort of like a combination of maybe the Uber and Airbnb model. So if you own the car, you can add or subtract it to the Tesla network, and Tesla would uh, take uh, 25 or 30% of the revenue. Um, and, uh, and then in places where there aren't enough people sharing their cars, we would just have dedicated uh, Tesla vehicles. Um, so we'll sh we'll sh when you use the car, we'll show you our ride-sharing app. So you're able to be able to summon the car from the parking lot, get in, and go for a drive. It's really simple. So you just take the same Tesla app that you currently have. We'll just do. We'll just update the app and add a summon summon Tesla, or or commit your car to the fleet. So it's either summon summon your car or add summon a Tesla or add your add or subtract your car to the fleet. You'll be able to do that from your phone. 